Hi there, I'm Randy Watkins, and you're watching Star Painter. This episode features Roger Daltrey. Um, I'll give you a little hint. The end of this has a really good outcome and a really bad outcome at the same time. So, and watch the show and enjoy it. Now 10:22 on Tuesday morning, and I'm sitting here waiting for Roger Daltrey. I got hopefully I got hours to wait. Uh, I'm assuming he's not already here. So I just sit and watch the traffic, watch the traffic down that way and down that way, and and uh, just waiting for him. All right, let's know what happens. Well, it's 10:30. Roger Daltrey just got here. He drove in, drove past me, didn't stop. So I'm gonna wait. Uh, he'd be out probably between five and six, hopefully. So it'll be a nice warm day, but uh, I'm here and he's here. Well, let's know what happens. Well, I decided rather than sit outside all day for six and a half hours between the 10.30 and 5 p.m., I'd go in and watch the show. And uh, then all I had to do was run out and beat Roger Daltrey out to the, this spot before he got here. Oh, that's not what he came in. So I'm here and there's some other crowds here and they see and we see this this car coming and it looks like Roger Daltrey's oh, in there. Roger, you know, you'll see what happens here. He's on the phone. That's a big phone call. Yeah, it's a big phone call. It didn't look like him though. Roger, there are only five people, please. That's Robert there in the yellow shirt and he is sure that that was Roger Daltrey. So he's running up the block and he's going to try to catch him at the light. I was here when Roger Daltrey arrived, and that's not the same car he came in. So I'm thinking maybe it was, maybe it wasn't him. I, it, you know, they don't have to leave in the same car they arrive in. But I didn't see the the man sitting in this car, so I'm still gonna hang out and see if he comes out later. Okay, yeah, he's going to go chase him with the light. Okay, now this is where I blew it big time. Roger Daltrey did come out afterwards, and uh, I did get it signed. <laughs> But I didn't have the camera on. Uh, evidently, it's, it's over my head and it's too tricky for me. This is Wanda Sykes. She stopped. She signed a few things for some fans. And uh, I missed the Roger Daltrey footage. Nothing I can do about it at this point. But, uh, you know, I got, you know, I just have to live and learn and hopefully pay more attention next time and make sure the camera's running. Roger Daltrey signing my painting today, of course, was uh, was the highlight of the day. But another great spot in the day was uh, I got to go on stage at the Tonight Show and pitch the show to Jay Leno in front of the studio audience. Uh, he asked me what I did for a living. I said, I'm making a reality show. I'm the guy that's been standing in a driveway for 20 years with paintings. Uh, and I said, would you like a card? And he said, sure, I'll take a card. So now Jay's got a card for the show. Uh, hopefully he'll look at it. Probably he won't. But, uh, you know, it was, it was a great day anyway. So for a minute we thought we missed Roger Daltrey and it turned out it wasn't him in the first car and we got him. Uh, he just left and signed a painting and I hope, I hope, let me see, hope that's a good enough angle. There's a, there's a signed Roger Daltrey painting. Yeehaw! 
Hi there, got real good news and real bad news. The great news is Roger Daltrey signed my painting. The bad news is I didn't get any footage of it. Um, he pulled up, he rolled down the window, he started signing, and I'm trying to handle the camera and the painting and the pen, you know the story. And I thought the camera was on, and evidently it wasn't, and I got no footage, and it's killing me. Nothing I can do about it now, but um, there's where he signed it, if that helps at all. No, it's not as good as seeing him do it. But uh, you know the chance for Alice Cooper on Friday, and I'll try to make sure the camera's on. See ya.